Hey everybody, Guinness is about, you know what that means. Ah, oh, man, that stuff is so good. <clears throat> Mako, <laughs> this is like the third video for this lightsaber. She's on her third go-round. When I first built Mako, she had a recharge port right back here behind this button. Well, the problem is, is when the chassis goes in against that what was the recharge port it kept knocking the wires off the recharge port it damaged several recharge ports and it just it wasn't working out <clears throat> so I had to re-engineer the chassis on Mako and there's the new chassis which you can see the the recharge port built in there and you know you see my board and my 18650 battery so everything's good to go there. Also, there's a Railmaster speaker in this, so I upgraded that. So let's pull the kill key. Hello there. Hello. Hello there, Mako. You're back again. Um, you know, I had a, a recharger fry this board. I had, you know, the recharge port causing struggles. Look, this is my favorite lightsaber. I like this more than the original trilogy sabers that I built. I love this thing. It's just badass. Uh, I'm so glad it's back up and running. While I had it open, I reinstalled a real uh, quartz crystal there. No more of that plastic crap that's in there. And I also did uh, accent LEDs on both sides. You can see them flashing there. So, let's get to the first custom part. Cyber assassin. Well, I'm going to do two fish Spanish ladies. If y'all don't know what that is, that's Quint <coughs> from Jaws. And hang on a second, let's kill these lights. And then all the blaster blocks are quotes from the movie. See the crystal chamber matches the blade. You see my illuminated switch there. So next we'll go to Mako is back with a vengeance. Um, I repainted the shrouds because the paint had started to wear. I also cleared them, including the front shroud. 
like I said I redid the crystal chamber I did this before I don't think I did a video on it to show it but I had a spare Graflex button the kind of has the the hollow screw in it it's a 1032 and I actually threaded that and if you look carefully it's threaded down through where the the actual hilt meets the crystal chamber so it's actually uh, drilled down through the threads so you can't take the saber apart of course I do have the, the clip on there as well as the accent LEDs uh, the Graflex button looks pretty cool though and the accent LEDs are awesome and that's you know my brass crystal chamber which was the first crystal chamber I ever built and basically this saber just rules man this saber kicks ass I'm so glad to have Mako back uh, you know Mako is an important saber to me it was where I you know this saber helped me cut my teeth and learn so much about lightsabers and you know it's just been a cool saber it's my favorite saber um, the custom saber shop modular hilt system stuff is just incredible and you know I'm so glad that she's back up and running and now I'm in the midst of a bunch of other projects so hope you uh, hope you like the video if you do please subscribe you know I've got more saber builds going on right now I've got I'm um, currently in the midst of building three Graflex lightsabers and I'm getting ready to do the demo on one of them tonight although it won't be published to YouTube until I'm ready to sell all three but um, I hope you en enjoyed uh, Mako Take 3. We'll see you next time. May the Force be with you, always.